a jug of toilet water. We take a 24 hour composite sample. Providing answers to drug use on Block Island. And we take that composite sample and then submit it to the BioBot analytics. Block Island is now part of a cutting edge pilot program with BioBot analytics. What began as a viral wastewater testing tool during the COVID-19 pandemic has evolved into a powerful way to track drug use. Substances that we sample for are currently fentanyl, uh, methamphetamine, amphetamine, cocaine, and then the treatment medications, including methadone and naloxone. The findings? So there's a rise and fall seasonally with the concentration of, of tourism and, and people on the island. Traces of fentanyl jumped in the spring, then dropped. Cocaine use followed the tourism season, surging above regional and national levels in late spring and midsummer. That exact same trend was seen on Nantucket, where cocaine use surged 50% higher than the national average at times. Being on an island away from the mainland, why is it so important to track this stuff? I believe that the data can provide uh, decision makers with a better understanding of the substances that are uh, being uh, used and or abused on the island. Dylan Chase is the superintendent of New Shoreham's wastewater facility. Do you think this is too much oversight? Uh, do I think it's too much oversight? I think data is, is important. The Rhode Island Department of Health not as convinced. Is the state skeptical about narcotics testing? I wouldn't. I don't know that I would use the word skeptical. I think I would. Suzanne Bornshine is an epidemiologist at RIDO. While we're waiting to see further development, standardization, better understanding of what baseline, how do you, you know, how do you parse out what's a, you know, what's a prescribed drug versus what's not. I think we have to wait and see how that development goes on before we can capitalize and use that as another surveillance tool. It's not a perfect system. No. As you know, there's no perfect system. There's also a dilemma with data collection. If drug use is rising. Who and how would we respond to that, that information? And who should be the owner of that information? And who should share that information? Block Island officials admit they see the drug data, but they're not acting on it. Any significant response to the data could still be years away. Is this the future of wastewater testing? I think you're going to see a growing trend in utilizing wastewater surveillance to monitor for substances and to monitor for infectious pathogens, absolutely. Bornshine says while the state uses wastewater testing to track the levels of viruses, even that's not foolproof since different people shed viruses differently. To get a closer look at the narcotics testing on Block Island, you can head over to turn10.com. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk.